Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 1 Rethinking Travel. Unit 1 Around the World with Rosie. Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to develop previewing and scanning skills about online articles, recall important events in a text, and learn vocabularies related to traveling. Paragraph 1. Rosie Swale Pope is unlike any other 60-year-old grandmother in the world. Three years ago, she left her house in Wales and started off a solo run around the world. With the exception of short flights between oceans, Rosie has run across Europe, Russia, and Siberia, and down through Alaska and Canada. She is currently crossing the United States and hopes to be home by next December. Paragraph 2. When Rosie began her trip, she ran carrying her belongings in a 40-pound rucksack. Later, a woman in Russia gave her a baby jogger to push. For some time in the Alaskan wilderness, she pulled her belongings in a sled. Now she pulls a cart she calls the Silver Dream Machine. In it, she keeps her tent, cook stove, and other essentials. When full, her cart weighs nearly 300 pounds. Despite the weight she carries, she averages between 10 and 25 miles each day. Paragraph 3. Rosie's adventures have included incredible summertime heat and below freezing winter weather, encounters with bears and wolves, robbers, frostbite, broken ribs, and pneumonia. She even had to be rescued in a blizzard where she was trapped on an uninhabited island in the Yukon River in Alaska. She has worn out over 36 pairs of shoes. Occasionally, she has run out of food or money and is always grateful for the kindness of strangers she meets along the way. Paragraph 4 When she has the opportunity, Rosie communicates with family and friends on a website run by her son. People sometimes spot Rosie camping by the side of the road and talk with her or invite her home for supper. They often post on her website how she has inspired them. In a letter to her fans, Rosie wrote, Running can take you to places that do not exist if you travel in any other way. You are treading gently through someone else's land. Part of the life going through someone else's land. Part of the life going on all around you. Part of the people, places, sunrises, storms, terrors, and joys. Let's look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word solo. Starting from the beginning of the paragraph, one, it reads, Rosie Swell Pope is unlike any other 60-year-old grandmother in the world. Three years ago, she left her house in Wales and started off a solo run around the world. Number two, rucksack. Mohammed, please give us the correct answer. A, a backpack. Mohammed, please explain this picture of rucksack and why the definition is backpack. As you see in this picture, this thing carries your belongings, and that's rucksack. And rucksacks has different types and things, and where you hold your things to move around the world, or your classes maybe, and that's a backpack. Let's look at Paragraph 2, containing the vocabulary word rucksack. In the first sentence, it reads, When Rosie began her trip, she ran carrying her belongings in a 40-pound rucksack. Number 3, baby jogger. Muhammad, please tell us the correct meaning. E, a special stroller to push a baby. Now let's look at a picture showing what a baby jogger is. Mohammed, can you talk about this? In this picture, you see a cart, stroller, something like that, where you put baby and you push it to move around in the mall in like long distances. And that's the baby jogger. Let's look at paragraph two containing the vocabulary words baby jogger. Let's look at sentence number two. Later, a woman in Russia gave her a baby jogger to push. Number four, blizzard. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C, 
a long severe snowstorm. Now let's take a look at the picture. Mohammed, can you please explain what a blizzard is and what do you see? Well, in this picture you see snow covers all over the trees, roads, and that's this snowstorm, a long severe snowstorm blizzard. Let's look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word blizzard. In sentence number two, it reads, she even had to be rescued in a blizzard where she was trapped on an uninhabited island in the Yukon River in Alaska. Number five, treading. Mohammed, can you please explain what the correct meaning is on the right? B, stepping or walking on. Now let's take a look at the picture. Mohammed, please explain how this is related to the vocabulary word treading. I see in this picture a person walking and stepping, taking his steps or her steps, and that's treading. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word treading. I'll highlight it for you. It's towards the bottom of paragraph four. Allow me to read the sentence. It reads, you are treading gently through someone else's land. Part of the life going through someone else's land. Part of the life going on all around you. Part of the people, places, sunrises, storms, terrors, and joys. Choose the best answer. Number one, Rosie Swell Pope is from B. Wells. Let's take a look where we can find this answer. In paragraph one, look at the highlighted word Wales. Allow me to read the sentence. Three years ago, she left her house in Wales and started off a solo run around the world. Number two, Rosie Swell Pope has already run across A. Canada. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing that answer. I will highlight it for you. In paragraph one, Canada. Allow me to read the sentence. It reads, with the exception of short flights between oceans, Rosie has run across Europe, Russia, and Siberia, and down through Alaska and Canada. Number three, Rosie's cart weighs up to C, 300 pounds. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing that answer. In paragraph two, I will highlight the words for you. 300 pounds. Allow me to read the sentence for you. When full, her cart weighs nearly 300 pounds. Number four, Rosie enjoys A, meeting new people. Let's look at the paragraph containing that answer. In paragraph number three, the bold words at the end. I will read the sentence for you. Occasionally, she has run out of food or money and is always grateful for the kindness of strangers she meets along the way. Number five. Most of the time, Rosie stays overnight in A. Her tent. Allow me to read the paragraph containing the answer. I will highlight the sentence. In it, she keeps her tent, cook stove, and other essentials. In paragraph two. Okay, Mohammed. Now let's have a discussion about what you learned from this unit. Can you briefly tell us? Okay, in this unit, actually, I learned a lot of stuff and it's very interesting. Uh, first thing I, le I learned, how to scan paragraph and find answers to the assignments. Secondly, uh, I learned about Rosie uh, and how she crossed all over the world and how she traveled. And finally, this very, very interesting vocabulary about traveling, about going around the world. Thank you, Mohammed, and that finishes Unit 1.